All right, I overslept by about an hour. So I'll make this quick. I roosted a bird yesterday. I saw him in a private field around 2.30. He was headed back to public. There's a creek bottom that feeds out and borders that, that field. So I'm gonna get up in that creek bottom. I heard him roosted about three, 400 yards up the creek bottom away from the field. I'm just gonna try to get into the creek bottom with him. Get as close as I can, but just try and cut him off if he's headed to that field in the morning. So, we gotta go though, cause I'm late. Such a bonehead setup. There's no way he's going to cross this creek, though. There's just no way. And I could try to shoot him on the other side of the creek. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs>
gotta do something. Not gonna come up here.
just sick to my stomach. Woke up late, got in here late, spooked two turkeys off the roost. Thankfully it wasn't the, the tongue. Tom started gobbling after that. And so I set up on the opposite side of the creek. And I mean, he was just fired up. I sat there for a little while. Eventually I realized he would, I, I don't think I was gonna get him across that creek. So I crossed the creek, got in here, and it was just slowly, since he was just gobbling so much. I could tell where he was at at all times. And I got in here as close as I could and I ended up ditching some of the camera equipment. I just had my GoPro on my gun, ditched my vest, and just started crawling my way to him. He kept firing off, but he wouldn't budge. So I just kept, kept crawling, kept crawling. I probably got to like 30 yards because I had a little rise in the land that was going to gonna block me from him so he wouldn't see me so I crawled to as close as I could get and at about 30 yards he was just hung up in some in some thick stuff and I really couldn't get him to budge any further but I'm sitting there this Tom is screaming in my face at 30 yards and then I hear whoop, whoop. police sirens and a guy on the megaphone says the owner of this white van, you have 10 minutes to get back here or you will be towed. I was like, are you freaking kidding me, bro? Are you freaking kidding me? So I tried to sneak out of here as quietly as I could without spooking the tom. Ran back to my van, told him I was just freaking turkey hunting. It's the fifth time, the fifth time the sheriff has been called on me. I must have the most conspicuous looking vehicle and all of the deep south, but I'm just, of course, of course that happened, you know, ridiculous. I'm back in here now. I haven't heard him gobbling since I've been back. <sighs> Probably gonna have to go find another turkey. So here's the deal. I've had a lot of success finding finding birds in fields, private fields that are bordering public. So I found some some more birds. One tom I can confirm. There might be another less dominant tom in there that just hasn't strutted. I can't tell, but there's a lot of hens too. Now that tree line that they're on all the way over there, that's not public. This tree line right here, the fields the fields over here, this tree line right here is public, and then everything on this side of the road is public. And so, ah, let me look at all next. I don't think I can call them all the way across the field to me over this way, but they're over there in that corner of the field close to the road. It's possible if I get up in the trees on the opposite side of the road and start calling, it's possible that they could work their way over towards me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just gotta stay low. Make sure they can't see me. 